So about 15 to 12,000 years ago, a high priest of the Zandalari named Zulathra set out to exchange secrets of Lei Shin's Mogu Empire. The trolls wanted the Mogu's knowledge of the Arcane, and in return the Mogu wanted knowledge of lands beyond the Veil. Both sides knew that together they'd be unstoppable, and thus an alliance was formed. The Mogu and the Zandalari would stand side by side, carving out their empires together. About 12,000 years before the Dark Portal, Mogu Emperor Lei Shin sought out Oldham to claim the Forge of Origination to increase his already vast power. Though he initially had Oldham's Tolvir guardians on his side, they had discovered that Lei Shin had betrayed High Keeper Ra, master of the Tolvir, by defeating him in combat, usurping his throne, and forging the Thunder King's vast empire. Because of this, the Tolvir refused Lei Shin's gift of honorary members of the Mogu Empire, and with it, access to the Forge of Origination. When Lei Shin marched his and the Zandalari armies into Oldham, the Tolvir activated the Forge, wiping the area around the facility clean of invaders. Lei Shin, the Zandalari leadership, and their armies were killed, creating a large power vacuum that caused both empires to suffer heavily. Fast forward 300 years and the Mogu Empire began to crumble as the enslaved Pandaren began revolting against their masters. For the Zandalari, this caused a great debate on how to grab a large chunk of land from the Mogu. Mengazi, a descendant of Zulathra, argued very persuasively that the best course of action was to take it by force, for if the Pandaren were to completely overthrow the Mogu, the possibility of them honoring a deal their masters made was highly unlikely. With the choice made, the Zandalari marched their forces to Pandaria and invaded, starting the Zandalari Troll Wars. Though the initial conflict met with little resistance, the newly formed Pandaren Empire eventually struck back when a Pandar named Jiang formed the Order of the Cloud Serpent and trained her people on how to tame and ride cloud serpents. With the serpent riders filling the skies, the Zandalari no longer dominated the air with their terror wings and bat riders. With the Pandaren successfully countering the trolls, Mengazi launched a desperate counter operation to revive Lei Shen and reestablish the Mogu Empire. However, the operation was interrupted when Jiang sacrificed herself to slave Mengazi, ending the Zandalari Troll War with a Pandaren victory. And that's all she wrote for the Pandaren timeline of the Zandalari's history. I'll be back very soon with events that conspire a millennia later, but until then, I bid you goodbye. If you'd like to watch part one of the Zandalari lore videos, the link will be down below. Thanks for watching.